Hello. Hello, this is Hilary Safran, is mybizmama.com, and today we have a special, special interview with Skookums, who is my harp teacher. I'm not going to harp about that too much. She's going to explain to you about how she got into this because I know. Let me, let's show your uh, harps first. This is a studio in her own home. Behind me, I have her uh, one of the harps here. Here's some more in this lovely home. And behind us, we have the king harp. So, Skookums, you said you were a masseuse before. Tell me your story. How did you get into playing the harp professionally, having students? Tell us about that. Well, I found that uh, massaging was just a, a stepstone to playing the harp. I wanted to get out there and, and express myself. And actually, it became an uh, occupational hazard um, mm -hmm. using my hands that hard. Um, I volunteered out in public uh, playing the harp, and one day uh, a doctor came forward and said, I have a harp, would you teach me how to play? And oh. I thought, hmm, I know how to play, I know how to teach, and so my teaching career was launched. So how do you make a living? You, I know you teach harp, I know you perform at weddings and other functions. Didn't you tell me about some rental property? How do you do this without a J-O-B? Oh, well... Uh, since the children have grown and moved out of the house, I have three empty rooms, so I rent those out, and then I have some other properties as well. That's excellent. So between income properties, teaching, and performing, you are doing what you love to do and making a living of it without a J-O-B. Is that correct? That's right. There you go. Are you inspired? So. People might have rooms for rent, whether they do Airbnb or Craigslist to get mm -hmm. uh, uh, people to pay. There's always an income stream that people might be missing. Well, when you're self-employed, it's so important to have several different uh, income streams, as you, as you say. Right. Because um, in, in the summertime, maybe I'll lose students because they're going on vacation. Mm -hmm. And so when, when those dips happen, you, you have yeah. to have those others to Excellent. make ends meet. Excellent. And, um, well, I know you play beautifully. I'm your fan. Ah, yes, you. sometimes we will play together. We played together in an assisted living home for your mom today. Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. Skookums played the harp and I played the violin. It was a lot of fun. Sure was. Thank you. Yes. What, what age did you start uh, playing the harp? Was it later in life or were you a little kid? You no, know, I was 38 years old. Wow. I considered an, an adult learner. That's neat. Well, it's yeah. never too late to be what you might have been. Yeah. Right, and I'm starting harp lessons at, we we're not going to say what age, but it's past 5 -0. But anyway, you know, be inspired. If you could always yep. do something, that's a lot of fun. And I just, I started the harp because I didn't want to have any regrets about it as I grew older. So true. And we, my whole business is based on people not having any more regrets about not doing what they really love to do and making a living out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for today, and thank you, and mybizmama.com, and Skookums, is that your real name? It sure is. I love that. Okay. Well, Very cool. Yeah. Okay, take care. Go bye -bye. for it, you guys. Go for it. Bye. Bye.